It's time for an FJ fix. One of my favorite drills to help you be consistent when we start out the year is to understand how to control balance. Now, why is balance so important? Balance is, is, is an important part of this because as my balance changes in the golf swing and as I fight for balance in the golf swing, I start to compromise my ability to strike the ball consistently. And what I mean by that is, is that, well, you got to understand that the bottom of the arc is going to happen right around the top of the spine, right around up here, not back of the neck stuff, but right up here is basically where the bottom of the arc, more or less, I'm just more or less. And so as we start controlling that position, now I can get the ball to bottom, I mean the club to bottom out where I want it to bottom out. So when I'm hitting my six iron, I go, okay, I need this thing to travel 175 yards and I make my normal swing and then I go over here, come on up to the front here, come on up to the front with me, Gibbers. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit that thing 175 yards. What did I get? I carried it 175 yards. That's because I understand where the bottom of the arc is. Now, the flamingo drill. Why does it help you with that? Because what I see happen more often than not is I see players struggle with balance in a rearward direction or away from the target. And when you start to let your body weight go back away from the target, now we start slowing up the club head. Now we start bottoming out too soon. We add loft when we get into the golf ball. We strike it out on the toe or in the heel or all kinds of different places and everything gets changed. Everything gets compromised. Ball speed gets compromised. The face angle gets compromised. The launch angle, both horizontally and vertically, those get com everything gets compromised. And so what I want you to do when you get to going right in the spring, this is never a bad a, a, a bad drill to do. It's always great to do at the beginning of the year, but it's never a bad, to drill, bad drill to do at any time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get set up. In effect, what you're doing is you're pointing your lead foot just in front of the golf ball, just like that. So it's just in front of the golf ball. Then what we're gonna do is we establish balance. And now all I want you to do, we're gonna hit this ball. And now when you hit it, what I want you to do is I want you to stay in that balance. I don't want you to fall off of your feet. Because what happens to us is when we fall off of balance from this drill, that's telling your upper body or your lower body they're not moving together. So if I make a poor swing and I go like this, now I've, I've recovered myself. I've had to use my, my trail foot as a kickstand so I don't fall over. When I make the right swing, the right drill, now all of a sudden I have the balance that I want and I'm able to swing through comfortably and confidently the bottom of the arc happens at the same time. So what you do is you teach yourself this drill. It will be hard at first. I'm not going to lie. And all drills should be difficult at first. I don't want you to get in and go, oh, this is too difficult. I want you to keep doing it. And what's going to happen to you is the way you're going to be able to keep your balance is you'll do it slowly. You might only hit your, like that one there, I only hit that about 145 yards. Well, we saw before my seven iron is going to go 175 yards. And I haven't done this drill in a while. And the reason why I want you to do this is because this is a drill that's going to help you understand how to sync up your swing. That was a really good one there. That one there went 165 yards. So in two swings, I was able to, to feel what's going on in my feet and understand how to generate the speed. And now, again, after you've done this for a little bit, now you go ahead and put that other foot down and you're gonna feel like you've got so much more control over your balance that you'll be able to go even faster. So remember before my six iron, 175? I think I can get this thing to get up into the 190s. That's what I think. And still maintain balance. Caught that just a little bit fat. But that one there flew about 180 yards. As you can see, it went over the target out to about 184. As you start to manage your balance, that's when you start to get your consistency. And it's critical at the start of the season to understand Pay attention to the fundamentals. And one of the most fundamental parts of the golf swing is balance. It allows you to get consistent. It allows you to have predictable distance. It allows you to have a predictable apex and a predictable launch angle and all that stuff. When you start losing balance, that's when you get into trouble. And that is an FJ fix. To improve all parts of your game, 
subscribe to my channel, and click the link below.